I suppose the Chancellor Thanks, has been reportedly a little bit uh, taken aback by some of the criticism of his statement. No doubt one made against really tough times internationally, but it hasn't landed all that well in the papers, has it? Well, people will always say, whatever you do, you've not gone far enough. And of course, I understand that. And lots of people are feel, feeling huge pressure from the rising living costs. But there's only so much you can do to, to mitigate that, of course, because this is very broad based. Everybody's suffering from this, of course. And these are international issues. The inflation uh, is principally being driven by energy costs and supply chain prices, which are not within the Chancellor's gift. So he's got to try and provide some support, which he collects from the taxpayer, of course. Uh, the government has no money, so it's got to collect money to then distribute to other people in need. And of course, um, you know, some of those people are the same people. Taxpayers are in need uh, as well. So if you tax people more to, to distribute that money to other places, um, there's, that's that's pretty complex thing to have to do and doesn't really solve the problem in many ways. So. Of course, he's, he did a lot in terms of energy support, support for for the rising energy costs earlier in in, uh, in this uh, this in the spring, um, three hundred and fifty pounds per household, which was very important. And then, as you say, the national insurance uh, reduction, which again is about another three hundred and thirty pounds uh, in terms of that ra rise in threshold. And of course, the fuel duty cut, which is about a hundred pounds for, for each household. So these are quite significant uh, measures that have. Cost, cost him and the taxpayer quite a lot of money.